How's it going, everyone? Ben here, your friendly neighborhood med student. Wait, I'm not a med student anymore because I literally finished all my graduation requirements two weeks ago. So I'm gonna have to think of a new title. <laughs> all right, let's do this again. How's it going, everyone? Dr. Ben Hassin here. Wow, that sounds so different. I don't know if I want to add any more lines to that, but let's just let's just keep it at that. Dr. Ben Hassin here, and today. Um, I have a lot of explaining to do because I know for you all, I haven't really been on social media for about, uh, haven't really posted any videos for two-ish weeks, but even for me though, I haven't made any content uh, for about a month. And uh, there's a lot of reasons why, and I guess I have some explaining to do. So there has been so much that's happened in the last four-ish weeks. I know I talked about in previous vlogs that I was gonna vlog my match day, but um, match day was amazing. I loved it. Uh, I was surrounded by chosen family. If you watch my Instagram or Twitter, if you follow me there, I uploaded my match day acceptance speech and also my like candid reaction. And it was just, I was just surrounded by so much love and support and i couldn't ask for like anything else really i know in my previous vlog i talked about applying both med psych and general psychiatry and unfortunately i didn't match a med psych um residency program but i did match psychiatry at duke university which i'm not even complaining about that because um for some people matching and duke for any residency program is like a lifelong dream. And I'm not going to be sitting here uh, pretending um, that I'm upset because I, I really can't complain. I love the program at Duke and I'm so excited to wear blue, represent blue. Actually, fun, fun fact, my high school mascot was the blue devil. So it's just really cool for me to rep the blue devil now. And Duke was my dream medical school, but they ended up waitlisting me so I, I like I, like I said, it, I there is no no sadness in me. I was a little disappointed at first, but I, I did some introspection, talked to myself, and my path to med psych is not over. I can just do a second residency program, and if I build a strong relationship at Duke, we can probably do a second residency over there. Duke also has a med psych program that I can probably father uh, grandfather into if I if they were if they're open to it so it just depends on the kind of communication and networking that I do over there so <clears throat> there's no there's no like remorse about that match result but everything in my life literally collapsed in all different ways right after match day and um, I decided for my own mental health to not vlog like I, I actually did capture quite a lot of footage but I just did not want to edit it I deleted all those files and I told myself that I I should have time to mourn the things that have happened nobody died but I think having a death in your life is not the only reason why someone should take a break or mourn so some of the things that happened is that right after match day um, I just got a whole ton of credentialing stuff to do now to be approved to go move to Durham. I have to figure out moving plans and do all this. So it was a lot, a lot of stress, still a lot of stress, but also I got super, super sick right after match day. And like you y'all saw me cough earlier. I'm still getting over that sickness. It's not COVID. I don't know what it is. It's probably like some form of allergic bronchitis superimposed with some kind of bacterial infection thing going on. A lot of people, <coughs> Are having it right now and then now I have um, a procedure that I need done like wisdom teeth extractions all four which not only is going to cause a long time of recovery for me but also took a solid chunk out of my bank account and uh, my relationship ended so uh, it was just like a lot a lot but um, I've been talking to my friends I've been debriefing with friends with everything that's happened and uh, I'm in a really solid place now and that's why I'm back to vlogging. I, I highly advocate for anyone, 
even if you are not active on social media, just take those breaks when you need it. And I knew I needed it. Like, I would have been fine still making content, but would the passion be there? Would I resent myself for not giving my time to rest? Absolutely. So I decided to take that time and take a month off from making content. For you all, it's only going to be about two weeks because I scheduled a lot of stuff in advance. So it looks more natural for y'all. But um, yeah, I, your boy took that time. And it's not that I was going through a depressive episode. I want to make that clear distinction. I was just sad because sad things happened. And that's okay. That's a part of life. And the only thing I can do from here on out is roll with the punches and keep on rising the way that I've been rising. And that's what you all should do. Okay, that was a lot, a lot of like talking to the camera. But today's interesting because um, I am going to shop for supplies and things to eat when I have my wisdom, after I have my wisdom teeth extraction this Thursday. It's Monday right now, so I'm gonna go grocery shopping, get a bunch of stuff that's soft on, soft on the mouth so I don't mess with my wisdom teeth at least the first couple of days after my procedure. Um, so we're gonna go do that. And then I am going to catch up on a lot of credentialing stuff. I'm finally back at the gym yesterday. And yeah, I ended up, I was so sick. I had to take like a week and a half out of the gym, which was ridiculous. And it would have actually helped me with my mental health and sadness, um, but I couldn't do that because I was coughing so much, I felt like I was gonna die. All right, y'all, I'm all set to go to start my grocery shopping for today. I am getting rid of a lot of my stuff because a lot of my furniture is kind of like my college age furniture. And turns out I want more higher quality stuff now that I'm gonna be a physician and have my own place in Durham. So I'm getting rid of a lot of stuff, uh, putting them up for sale, but also just giving it away because nobody wants this college age stuff anyways. So uh, today, in addition to doing grocery shopping, I am getting rid of this grill. Um, I really like it, it's a really nice grill, but I'm gonna be living in an apartment for an indefinite amount of time until I'm ready to buy a house. And this grill just doesn't have any space for it, it just takes up so much space. Um, also, I got it for free from a friend who also moved out. So I'm gonna be giving that away. In the next couple of weeks, I'm planning on getting rid of the couch, getting rid of the coffee table, I am gonna keep this console. It's still in top shape, but I'm gonna get rid of this table here too. Uh, this was also a gift. Not sure about this desk. This desk is really cheap. I got it from Ikea. Um, I might keep it for a little while until I upgrade desks. And then, let's see. I'm also gonna be getting rid of this dresser. I've had this one for eight years since college. And the bed frame too. This bed frame actually sucks. It's a beautiful bed frame. I love it. I love how it looks on the bed. But it is in an incredible pain to move around. And um, I almost had a nervous breakdown <laughs> when I was assembling it. And I don't think it'll last a, a disassembly and reassembly. So I'm going to get rid of that. Oh my god y'all i just saw john wick like two nights ago with a friend and um his girlfriend and i got introduced um in that movie to rina Sawa sawayama and she is absolutely amazing i've been jamming to all her music the last couple of um days honestly and um yeah that was that was my uh Aaron jam i just got back from kroger and did all of these groceries, dropped off that grill to the, the, the neighbor that wanted it. So I'm ready to go upstairs and unpack. So I'm back in my apartment and I'm so, so happy to see that uh, Kroger had my one of my favorite cheeses ever on sale, mascarpone cheese. And I'm kind of an animal, you're supposed to spread this on stuff, but I will literally eat it with a spoon just because of how delicious it is. If you've never tried it, I highly recommend. I don't recommend the like, store-bought brand that's sold everywhere called Belgioso. I think they put too much lactic acid in it to preserve the quality. But this one, holy moly, it tastes like clotted cream. If you've ever tried clotted cream before, uh, it's just like 
not comparable to anything. I love how thick and creamy it is. I'll just take a sp ah! I spilled some, it's okay. <laughs> I'll take like just a little bit and mm. Mm. I'm in heaven right now. And I know a lot of people are looking at me like, Ben, this is like straight up cream and cheese, but I don't care. I had a terrible week and I'm finally getting better. Mmm. So good. Jean Luc likes it too, so I'm gonna just give him a little bit. Hey, baby. Snack. Yeah. You don't wanna come? It's right here. See? I swear he likes it, guys. He's just being spoiled. There you go. He loves this stuff. He's a yogurt and cheese man. I don't give him too much because I don't want him to get diarrhea or anything. But he absolutely loves this stuff. His favorite cheese of all time is Highland Plains cheddar. So I have a refined man as a, as a cat. So as I've said before, the primary reason for this grocery haul was to make sure I had enough soft foods to eat um, that are not too terrible for me the first couple of days after getting my all four wisdom teeth extractions which i'm really not looking forward to and also it was super super expensive i thought it was going to be around 800 dollars, but i just got the quote quote today and it was it's going to be a two thousand dollar surgery um i guess because all of my teeth have erupted out so they can charge more or whatever because it's complicated um so um i hate the fact that i have to spend all this money for something that should have been covered if my someone <laughs> who was my legal guardian at the time took me to the dentist but here we are um i got a lot of stuff and hopefully i'm not too miserable the first couple of days when i can't eat solid foods as much so i got grits cheese grits because i love cheese and i like grits and i'm thinking <coughs> i'm thinking about putting some like scrambled eggs in them uh, just to increase the amount of protein. So we have a 10 pack of grits. Then I got all of these condensed soups. Yes, they're high in sodium, but that's okay. I can deal with it. Um, so I got a bunch of these. They were super, super cheap. And then just because I'm gonna miss, you know, flavor on the foods that I eat. I got some miso soup because I love miso soup. And <clears throat> I think it'll be great. Uh, as like a dinner or a snack um, as I'm recovering I got a bunch of ramen that I'm gonna eat for breakfast probably put an egg in it too scramble some eggs in it I'm probably gonna be using eggs for a lot of my recipes just to increase the amount of protein to get my daily protein intake in and lastly I got some of these um, easily like microwavable cups of mac and cheese so those are gonna be like what I eat for most of the day, the first couple of days after I get my wisdom teeth removal. Y'all will be able to see it firsthand if I decide to vlog it. So uh, wish me luck. My uh, procedure is in a couple of days. So yeah, oh, also I'm taking a bunch of supplements for it. And um, one of my, like, I guess my uh, instructional YouTube videos is going to cover uh, a major one that I'm taking. It's called bromelain, it comes from pineapples and talk, talking a little bit about why there's a TikTok trend right now among the youths on why you should drink pineapple juice before wisdom teeth removal to help you heal faster. So we're gonna dig deep into the reason why in my uh, educational YouTube video uh, right after this vlog is uploaded. And of course my little cheese loving man wants to get into the bag of mac and cheese. Ain't that right, Jean-Luc? All right? All right? So lately, I've been really into these Kenneth Cole uh, reaction shirts. Not their athletic brand, athletic line, but the regular t-shirt line. Just because they're so great for like a short but like muscular built body. So trans guys that work out and whenever you buy athletic gear, like Gymshark shirts and stuff like that, they always end up being too long. Like they go, it looks like dresses on me and then I have to alter them and I hate you know, taking that time to alter something that I shouldn't really be altering. So uh, th this shirt 
is amazing. I have it in like four different colors, but a couple weeks ago, I noticed that TJ Maxx, they had some more in different colors that I don't have. So I think later on today, I'm gonna go uh, grab <laughs> grab some of those extra colors because I, I can't recall, I need you to know that I am your biggest supporter of your uh, t-shirts. Super biggie update y'all. Today I got my apartment approved. I am so, so happy in Durham. That was one of the big things that I needed to get done before, you know, the transition to moving up there. And this is just gonna make my life so, so much easier just because um, I had to apply to three apartments Unfortunately, the first one caused a lot of drama. Then I realized I don't need that much space anymore because I had plans to live with someone at a certain point, but that kind of fell through. So I ended up having to drop that. That was a waste of like almost $300. I feel so, so bad about that. But, you know, life happens and it is what it is. And then the second apartment has never gotten back to me. So this third apartment finally got approved in a couple of days. I'm so, so happy. The leasing agent, I'm sure they're queer um, and they were so nice to me and I'm just really really excited to sign this lease and get started and move on with the rest of my move out process the next two big things that I'm doing so far as far as like big changes in my life is one I need to buy a car uh, my 2003 Nissan Sentra I recently had its 20th anniversary and uh, I could tell uh, it's reached its 20th anniversary. It's also about 500 miles away from hitting the 200,000 K mark. So, <clears throat> uh, yeah, your boy needs a new car or there's no way he can go up to Durham. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna start looking at cars right now. I told myself after I get the apartment approved, uh, I'll look for a new car. Thinking about getting a dad car like an SUV, but we'll see. I also need something that's fuel efficient and the last thing is that this little baby right here that I've been using to edit my YouTube videos and Instagram reels and stuff like that is reaching its five year mark. So that means lately I've been having a lot of trouble um, editing my videos. Not It does editing fine. It just takes a lot, lot more time now because of new technology uh, like these 4K images that I produce with this GoPro, it just can't handle it. So what I'm going to do is it's it's about time that I upgrade is that I've been doing a lot of research. I've always been a PC guy, but for the first time ever, I think for my editing needs, I'm going to switch over to Mac because Mac is the industry standard for video editing. So this bad boy is going to go to my friend Toph. Uh, Toph is amazing. I love him. I did his, I do his oil changes and his car work and I think he'll really appreciate something like this. Toph, if you're watching this, I love you. I know you watch my vlogs. Um, so this is gonna go to him, and I'm gonna upgrade to the Mac Studio. I already put in my order, just waiting <coughs> for Apple to process the order. And yeah, and then we'll have a much more leaner computer build. And I'm so, so excited. These, these are all really, really expensive changes. But luckily I've been saving up and I've been able to raise a little bit of money to help me with this process. Hey y'all, it's been like a couple of hours and I've been like getting work done and doing stuff that I should be doing. But all of a sudden I just got so sad. Like I've been having a really hard time. I mean like breakups are hard in general and I don't wanna get into too many details about it, but like, wow. Every time that I go through a breakup, I forget like, how absolutely terrible it is. It's like, uh, you feel so gut punched all the time, especially if it's for a reason that like you, I mean, all breakups has uh, end with unanswered questions, right? And you think about how much you poured into a relationship. And like, I wish the best for everyone that I've ever dated. I, I, I genuinely am always really happy when they get into a new relationship. But it's just like pouring all of your love and soul into someone. And that's like the one part of my life where I feel like I don't control. And to put <clears throat> that faith on someone else, oh my God. 
that's such a huge thing for me like being able to put that responsibility on someone and that trust it's hard so like when it ends it's just like oh my god so yeah like i've been like i've been fine which is why i'm surprised but i've i've gone through this so many times so far in my life but like every time it's like up and down up and down and you know you kind of miss them especially when you're going through something like stressful like moving and not having someone is hard i guess i'm just speaking into the air right now into into y'all's um if anyone can relate how hard breakups are <sighs> and i'm not here trying to feel bad for myself obviously i'm trying to move on with my life <coughs> damn and having to go through this <coughs> cold it's rough like no joke how rough it is but i tell myself all the time every time something like this happens to me whether it's a friend breakup or like a relationship breakup that uh time doesn't stand s still for anyone and what i can do is just keep on going and you know um right now i'm kind of reevaluating my personal life and whether or not for me if i should even seek a romantic relationship after getting through this hurdle just because right now i i really do want to evaluate what am i what am i looking for cuz um every relationship i go into i want to settle down like I've been wanting to settle down for the past past like two to three years, just because I'm not the kind of person like I there was there was young Ben you know young Ben went around you know had fun but that's not that's not me anymore and I don't want that but I realized for me my options are already really limited because I'm a trans guy and that also speaks a lot to about about my you know. whether or not people want a long-term relationship with me. So yeah, I think I'm just going to take some time the next couple of months, especially the first year of residency where I'm like really busy. I don't ever want someone to go through that, especially if they don't know what they're signing up for, but also just reevaluating like what qualities am I looking for if I want something long-term because I feel like I I I'm not really strict about the qualities I look for and that ends up biting me in the butt. So, yeah. Um and just like having that period of getting to know someone is really important instead of jumping into a full-blown relationship, which I still haven't mastered. But if y'all have some hints for me or clues or any pieces of advice, I'd love it. Like cuz your boy is not like for some reason that's the one aspect of my life where I really want things to work but it's just not working for me. The reason why I started making vlogs to begin with is just be really raw and real with my feelings and emotions as I go through life. I kind of want this to be like a um, virtual like journal kind of thing situation just because for a long time I did little snippets on my Instagram stories and people will say how much they can relate to the suffering that I go through but also the joys that I go through. So, I think like being able to share these aspects of my life. Obviously, I don't go into super personal details like I nev never really talked about really personal intimate de details of my life, but just like some of the like things that go in my head, like what 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 am I doing, you know? Like I think that's important for other people to relate to because we live in a world where like everybody's in a relationship, everybody has in a happy relationship everything's fine everybody's getting married getting engaged and i just don't think that's real like you know i have always given my 100% to every relationship i've been in like my soul my heart my everything and they still fell apart so i think it's important to say that like it's okay for things to fall apart even if you're doing everything right. And maybe one day, maybe one day it won't fall apart for me. Um, but we'll see. That's a TBD. Uh but y'all will definitely know <laughs> more than I would. Hey y'all. So 
it's the day before my extractions and surprisingly eh, let me <laughs> in position surprisingly i'm not too nervous about it but i did make sure i went to the gym before because i know i'm not going to be able to work out a couple days after my surgery they said three to four days <clears throat> so uh yeah i'm still coughing <sighs> but I think I just needed a good workout in before I got ready to go to my parents. So I'm going to stay over at my parents' tonight, go to the surgery, which is going to be at like 7.30 a.m., pretty early in the day, but it's Ramadan, so everybody's going to be up anyways that early, and I just get it out of the way as soon as possible so I can rest for the rest of the day. And then I'm going to stay overnight at my parents' and, <coughs> and then hopefully, hopefully go home the day after so that's the goal I know I am coughing a little bit on camera but last night was the first time in two and a half weeks that I've been able to get restful sleep uh, every other day before this I was coughing so much throughout the night that I didn't get any sleep at all so I'm incredibly grateful to be in a better position I was kind of worried that if I kept coughing as hard as, as I was that I was gonna get a dry socket and I really don't want a dry socket I'm really sad because my pineapple enzymes haven't been deli <coughs> delivered yet. It was supposed to be delivered on Monday. So I'm kind of out of luck there to take it before my surgery. I'm hoping that I can take it after my surgery because it can be beneficial before or after. Uh, but I have been taking my vitamin C and zinc. And uh, like I said before, I'm going to make a YouTube video about like optimal wound healing after a surgical procedure, whether it's wisdom tooth extraction or anything else. Um, but uh, yeah, that's it for today uh, and this vlog really <clears throat> I don't think I'll have capacity to vlog throughout my procedure or after my procedure So I'll let y'all know. I mean y'all will know how I'm doing through my Instagram or Twitter And if I upload a, a week after vlog uh, y'all will definitely know how I'm doing and I'm hoping it goes seamless. It kind of sucks that I have to go under general anesthesia again but I know that I'm going to have all four impacted tooth third molars extracted so it's better safe than sorry and I hope the recovery process doesn't isn't too too hard anyways y'all uh, I'm gonna start packing I'm gonna start cleaning up my kitchen making sure Jean-Luc has enough food and water for the next uh, like 36 hours that I'm without him and then um, yeah I'll see y'all on the other side. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for dealing with me this week. Uh, I actually felt like I could vlog again, but then like y'all realize halfway through the vlog, I made that whole sadness post. But I think it's important to understand that like I'm not a perfect human being. I have emotions and sometimes I'm not up to par to film cool stuff, but I hope you still find my content interesting. Anyways, I'll see y'all on the next vlog. Mwah. This has been... Mwah. This is Dr. Ben. <laughs> I, I swear it's going to take me a while to get used to it.